Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to today's episode of How to Do Everything. And today we're gonna to be showing you guys how to uh, mount and install the tire stickers. I'm sure you guys have seen them, the white letters that go uh, on opposite sides of your tires. Uh, real simple process. You can get the kits on a bunch of different websites, eBay, there's a bunch of places to get them. Uh, it doesn't take too long, but you wanna make sure you follow the steps so that they don't come off on you while you're driving. So let's take a look at what we need to get started. You're gonna need just a few basic things to get the job done. You're gonna need a towel, obviously the, the tire sticker that you're gonna be applying. You need some sandpaper, a pair of scissors, rubber cement, which usually will come with the kit that you purchase. And you're gonna need some isopropylene alcohol. Um, I mix mine 50-50 with water. It doesn't need to be pure strength, you can dilute it some. So that's pretty much all you're gonna to need to uh, do this application. So we'll start by identifying where we want to put them on the tire. And what I'm going to be doing is putting it right over top of the existing Michelin letters on both sides of the tire. I don't know if you can see that. Both sides of the tire opposite of each other, we have the Michelin logo. <clears throat> so first you want to uh, remove any of the knobbies from the side of your tire. Obviously this will prevent the letters from sticking very well. Make sure they're all off of there. And now we're gonna to wanna to clean the surface of the tire with our alcohol um, and a rag to make sure that we get any oil, tire shine, any sort of grease off of the tire. Uh, if you have any left on there, that's gonna prohibit the rubber cement from doing its job and adhering the two together. There we go. The next step will be identifying how long the pattern is actually going to be. And we can do that by just taking the sticker, laying it up on there, and measuring out the distance from end to end. And we'll do that because we're going to take the sandpaper and we're going to lightly scuff the area that we're going to apply the sticker. Uh, and what that'll do is it'll break up the surface of the rubber, give it a little more rough texture and it'll help the rubber cement bond the two surfaces together. Now we're gonna take our towel and wipe off the, um, the little shavings that we've just created by sanding it. There we go. And now we're ready to start applying the decal. I recommend cutting the decal into workable sections, you know, two or three letters. Um, it'll make it a little easier to apply and uh, you can still get the spacing right when you put it all together. So we've got our section cut into three. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wipe the back side off just to get any contaminants off of it. Uh, and then we're gonna start applying our rubber cement. The main thing when you apply your rubber cement is to make sure that you get it on all the edges, all the way up to the edges. Because if you don't, what'll happen is your edges won't adhere to the tire and you'll, they'll start to peel up over time. So we wanna get extra, uh, not extra, but we wanna make sure that we get it all the way up to the edge of the surface so that when we adhere it and push it, it actually squeezes out the side a little bit uh, and that'll ensure we have rubber cement holding the entire sticker down. So we've got our rubber cement on the back side of our decal and now we're gonna go ahead and apply it to the surface of the tire. We're gonna make sure and press it down nice and tight. They say to uh, hold it down with pressure for about 30 seconds. I like to make sure all my cement is squeezed to the edges and then I'll come back. You've got a little bit of time to work on it. Uh, it's not gonna cure instantly. I put a lot of extra uh, time into the corners making sure I'm pushing them down and holding them 
uh, that's that's going to be your biggest problem if you don't adhere these right is going to be your corners are going to come up so now we're going to repeat this process with the rest of the letters we've got all our letters on you can see they're all on we left the um, masking tape on the front of it got everything spaced out the way it should be and now we're going to remove the masking tape <clears throat> and check all of our edges, make sure there's nothing peeled up, and then we just need to let it cure. Be careful when you're peeling this off. Don't peel it straight up away from it. Peel it along the edge of it. And uh, if you try to peel it straight up, sometimes you can lift the sticker, especially if the glue isn't fully dry yet. There we go. You see it's already looking better. All the plastic's removed. And now the only thing left to do is to do it on the other side here, on the opposite side of the tire. And you wanna make sure that whatever you do on this side, you wanna follow the middle line all the way through. That way, that way your graphic is even all the way across. The last thing you want is it to be here, and then the other one be somewhere over here, right? You want it to be dead even. Uh, and we can go over to the other side, and I'll show you what that looks like. There you have it, finished product. You see how the letters are uh, opposite of each other on the tire. I think it looks pretty good. Got the back tire down here as well. And that's it. Appreciate you guys watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe and like the video for uh, to keep up to date with more how-to videos. And we'll see you guys on the next one.